So six months ago, I had published a video where I revealed that I was pregnant with a baby girl and here she is. So at the time of that video, I was 20 weeks pregnant. And five weeks later, Joy was born. And Joy's due date would have been July 30th, 2023. So my preterm labor began around April 11th. I was just really tired on April 10th and then April 11th. I was really I woke up really tired too but the day was nice and we knew that the fruit farms in Fredericksburg were open for picking strawberries so we were able to enjoy that day and we picked strawberries and that night around I want to say around 11 30 Elijah said something that just made me laugh so hard and when I laughed I felt like a gush of fluid so I told hi and we just decided that we were gonna go to bed and just keep monitoring it so we went to bed and I woke up around 3 in the morning to use the restroom and this time when I got up, I realized that I was completely soaked. So we got dressed, we got the kiddos ready and I got them into the car. I knew that we had to be seen where there was a NICU 4, so we had to find a NICU 4 hospital. So on our way to San Antonio, I kind of had a hospital in mind because I had seen an OBGYN near San Antonio. However, as we were approaching the San Antonio city limits, I believe the Holy Spirit leading me into looking for another hospital. And so I go into Google Maps and I type in NICU 4 and the Methodist Hospital was one of the first hospitals top rated. And so I click on it, I look at some of the reviews and some of the moms had said, oh, they love the NICU there. And I told her, hi, that's where we're going. And so we changed the GPS address to the Methodist Hospital. And so when we get to Methodist, I'm wheeled in and hi and the kiddos wait outside in the lobby. And the doctor on staff and the nurses are asking me a bunch of questions all while they're getting like a urine sample from me and telling me to change into a hospital gown. So I feel like everything is just happening so fast. But because I had a premature labor with Elijah, I, everything kind of just came back to me. And so this time around, I wasn't, I wasn't scared of the procedure of what would happen if I had to have a C-section. In the back of my head, I was wondering Will my baby even survive because she is so little still? So after evaluating me, the plan was for me to be on bed rest. She told me that the goal would now be for the baby to stay inside of me as long as possible. And she did mention that 75% of the women that come in with signs of premature labor end up having the baby within the first week. So that day that I went in was actually April 12th. It was early morning that we got to the hospital around 4, 4 something in the morning. Joey was born April 16th. And so another thing that the doctor said was, it's a great thing that she's right at 25 weeks gestational because once the babies make it to 25 weeks gestational, their lungs are more developed. At 25 weeks, basically everything is developed and from there forward, it's just the baby growing. And soon after, another doctor came in and told me, your baby had 25 weeks to station, no. She has basically 100% of survival rate. Not only that, but she's gonna thrive like any other child that would have been born at full term. And when she said that, it was just like, thank you, Jesus. Thank you that despite the circumstances, despite that I'm not able to have a full term baby, my baby's gonna be fine. So for the first two days that I was in the hospital, they had me on complete bed rest. So after being on bed rest for two days, they let me get up and walk around. And during this time, they would do ultrasounds and they noticed that my fluids were kind of low. So they just told me just do minimal walking. So on April 15th, which was a Saturday, they moved me into an even bigger room and the goal was that I would be more comfortable there and it had day beds so high and the kiddos could come visit me and they could even spend the night and so the next day was Sunday and the goal was for high to take the kiddos to church and then after church get them ready and come and stay with us well that Sunday morning I got up to use the restroom and I felt a little flutter 
my first initial thought was like, oh no, is the baby's umbilical cord down there or what's going on? And so I told my nurse about it. So they did a light check and she said, no, we don't feel anything, um, but let us know if you keep feeling it. But they said that they would report that to the doctor on site and see what the doctor said. It was no more than 15 minutes later when the doctor came in. And so he checked and lo and behold, Joy's little foot was dangling in there. But that morning I hadn't been having any contractions or anything like that. The night before I had a contraction but it was just like one time. And so the doctor asked me how soon can your husband get here. And I told him that it would be at least an hour. So the doctor told me to call high right away and to tell him that we were going to have a c-section within 30 minutes because little joy here was coming out breech it would be a c-section and yeah so they started preparing for that so they took me into the operating room and while all these external things were happening to me internally i was just asking jesus just to give me his peace um, and I knew God was with me the whole time. I felt this peace that I didn't feel when I had Elijah because I didn't know the Lord when I had Elijah. Baby Joy was born yesterday, April 16th. It was a Sunday and she was born at 8.50 a.m. BSC section. She weighs 1 pound and 11 ounces and she is 13 inches long. So during those four days before I had Joy that I was bed rest, I remember looking for articles online, looking at videos on YouTube to see uh, other women that had a premature babies. And I found a lot of encouragement knowing that the technology now, the doctors now, uh, just they know how to preserve life. And while being at the NICU and seeing other premature babies and getting to know some of the parents, there are babies that are born at 20 weeks gestational weighing one pound and the doctors are able to keep these babies alive not only that but the babies grow up to be just fine so whether you're watching this video because you're in bed rest with the same situation that i went through or you're considering getting pregnant or you are pregnant and you just want to prepare for whatever life throws your way. I, I know that as pregnant mamas, we write down a birth plan and we want our, our birth to look a certain way, but we don't know what life would throw at us. And so I just wanna give you hope um, and let you know that because we live in a fallen world and an imperfect world, um, sometimes when these things happen to us, it's not always our fault. It's just our bodies don't work properly sometimes. And that was the case with my pregnancy. Uh, ideally, I would have loved for my baby to come at full term. I would have loved to have a natural birth, but that wasn't the case. Don't be afraid, the Lord goes with you wherever you go. You weary souls, our God is not done yet. Our King will come with the morning light, bringing joy. To the darkest of night Carry on all you pilgrims Don't lose heart for the journey is long At the end of your own dreams Lift your hands and bless the Lord Carry on Don't lose heart, his strength will still come At the end of your wanderings You'll see the grace that he giveth and giveth and giveth again Your word will be enough When I cannot hear When I start to fear 